Many African countries have been victim to inhumane clinical trials by international pharmaceutical companies. Incidents of unethical experimentation, lacking informed consent, and forced medical procedures have been claimed and prosecuted. Welcome to Tunacheki, and in this video we present five unethical medical experiments that used Africans as guinea pigs. If you like informative and educational videos on Africa, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. Number five, the Rhodesian forced contraception in Zimbabwe. During the 1970s, in a bid to deal with the rising African population in then Rhodesia, a drug known as Depropovera was brought into the country and used as a population control measure. According to the reports, the old white government practiced forced sterilization on African Zimbabwean women. Although this drug was approved for use in Zimbabwe, it was never approved for contraceptive use in the USA and in the UK because of its devastating side effects. The drug was later banned in Zimbabwe in 1981, but the women who took the drug still suffer from side effects to this day. Number four, the Navrongo experiment in Ghana. This family planning experiment revealed that researchers experimented with the birth control drug Depropovera as a test run for a border population campaign on approximately 9,000 impoverished women in Navrongo in Ghana. The experiment was funded by the USAID and the Rockefeller Foundation. The women were told they were being provided with routine healthcare while data was specifically collected and analyzed for the research experiment. Number three, the meningitis testing in Nigeria. In 1996, when the northern state of Kano was hit by Africa's worst ever meningitis epidemic, Pfizer, the world's biggest research-based pharmaceutical company, took advantage and tested the antibiotic Trovan on 200 children. The test resulted in the death of 11 children and varying degrees of injuries and other disorders including deafness, muteness, paralysis, brain damage, loss of sight and slurred speech. An investigation by experts later concluded that Pfizer had administered the drug as part of an illegal clinical trial without authorization by the Nigerian government or consent from the children's parents. Number two, the Majengo experiments in Kenya. Canadian researchers followed a group of Kenyan prostitutes who remained HIV negative despite long exposure to HIV positive men. They were hoping to discover what kept the women immune and use their findings to develop a HIV vaccine. But later on, some of these women thought to be immune to the HIV virus became infected. The researchers discovered that a specific cell mechanism in their bodies had kept these women free from the infection. The biggest complaint that came out of the Majengo case study was that prostitutes used in the study were exploited by the researchers, not compensated for their contribution are not credited for their contribution to science. Number one, HIV AIDS testing in various African countries. In 1994, the US government conducted clinical trials in the Ivory Coast, Uganda, Tanzania, South Africa, Ethiopia, Burkina Faso, Malawi, and Zimbabwe through projects funded by the Centers for Disease Control and the World Health Organization. The trials included testing of over 17,000 African women for a medication that prevented mother-to-child transmission of the HIV AIDS virus. Although the trials were about preventing mother-to-child transmission of AIDS, the researchers refused to provide all pregnant women with a drug that could prevent infants from acquiring the AIDS virus during childbirth, even though they had it, thereby making transmission likely. As a result, an estimated 1,000 babies contracted the HIV AIDS virus. If you like informative and educational videos on Africa, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover.